Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of OneNote Worthy Life and in this video I'm going to show you how you can print directly to OneNote from your Windows machine. OneNote is great for holding all kinds of things in an organized searchable manner but one of its greatest strengths is how many different ways we have of getting things into OneNote. If you're on a Windows machine you can select OneNote as your destination just as you would select a physical printer or print to PDF. You'll get a nicely formatted printout on a new OneNote page in a section of your choice. As far as I can tell this feature is only available to Windows users and not for Mac, iOS, or Android users. Let me know in the comments if you have found differently. So I'm not sure if there's anything you need to do to make this appear on your Windows machine. It just happened for me. I think at some point with the Windows updates over the years, it just became an option. Uh, print to OneNote works no matter which of the two versions of OneNote that Windows users can pick from right now. At this moment, I'm in OneNote for Windows 10 on a Windows desktop. So if your screen looks different than mine, it might be because you're using a different device or the other version of OneNote available to Windows users, which is called simply OneNote or sometimes OneNote Desktop and was formerly called OneNote 2016. If you need more information on versions, I have a video linked in the description on that. So I'm going to show you two different examples. First, we're going to pull up a Word document that is in the dot DOCX format. We're going to print that into OneNote for Windows 10 and then we're going to pull up a PDF and print that into the OneNote desktop version. So let's get into that first document. So here's my Word document. I'm going to click File, then Print, and right here under the Printer option we have our various printers and I'm going to select OneNote for Windows 10 and click Print. You can see down here my OneNote is flashing, so when I bring that up, it gives me some options. So you can print to the current page, that's the page we were just looking at, or I can print to a new page in the current section, or I could send it to an entirely different notebook. But I'm going to print to a new page in the current section. And just like that, that was real time actually, this um, page appeared and you can see it looks pretty good. It formatted it nicely. It got all the pieces of the of what was on that page. Okay, second example we're going to pull up a PDF document and this one I'm going to select the other OneNote version which is called OneNote Desktop. So again, I'm going to click File, Print, and here under printer, again I have my printer options, I'm going to select the OneNote desktop, click OK, and it's going through some processing here. And this time it brings up the other version of OneNote, so it looks a little bit different. You can see I have tabs across the top and things like that. So I am going to print this in the current section. And that was again real time. You can see it really, it just printed that quickly and the other page that we've previously printed is already there. So I'm going to retitle this. And you can see that again, it looks pretty good. It got all the parts of it that kind of thing. And this came from a Word template, so it looks like there's more uh, versions of this down here. I only modified the top one though. So some examples of when this might be useful are for things like uh, pet records. I have a notebook for each dog that we have and it has all the paperwork for their license, their medical stuff, their adoption, teeth cleaning, anything like that. It can all go in there. And fortunately in this sphere of my life most of the providers I use do electronic communication so it's very easy to get uh, something emailed to me and then I just print it and it's right in that notebook and I always have all of their records with me even if I only have my phone. Another place I use this is for vacation planning. So you can do um, you print your reservations, maps, brochures, menus, um, anything 
that's going to be helpful to you when you're planning a vacation. And again, it's all in one place. You can share it with anyone that's going with you, like a spouse or significant other, family member, etc. And it's with you when you only have your phone. Another place where I use OneNote a lot is on home improvement projects. So I love this because you can print things like contracts, receipts, permits, product information, all of that kind of stuff. And I've even had situations where I had a contractor in my house or in my, at my you know, at my place. And if we're trying to talk about something, I, I can pull up something on my tablet and we can, you know, draw on it, write on it. And I've even handed my tablet to someone to have them sketch something out just to make the communication clearer. So it's really helpful. And of course, there's probably a ton of uses for this that I'm not even thinking of. So that's how you print to OneNote. Uh, printing to OneNote is yet another way we have of getting important things into OneNote. It's simple to use and it works pretty well. I hope this tip helps you stay organized. If you like this video, please let YouTube know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more OneNote tutorials, as well as content on the Getting Things Done system and on personal organization, I would love it if you subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.